in October of 2012, uh, Gary Bettman and Bill Daly came over to the PA offices and made an offer in, to Don and I. It was entitled Proposal to Save an 82-Game Season. So we worked very hard that entire week preparing a counterproposal. There was all sorts of clever and innovative things in it. Uh, they made the offer, I believe, on Monday morning, Thursday at 6 o'clock. We were finally ready to give our counterproposal. And you know what? It was not very well thought through. It was a good proposal, but there were a couple of things in it that were inaccurate. Worse, Don made the comment, um, you know, we haven't run the numbers on this. We're not sure exactly how something will play out. And most importantly, we didn't have a media puff piece ready to uh, uh, give out saying, here's what we're doing, and here's why, and here's why it makes sense, and why this should advance the bargaining. And we were pilloried for it, uh, perhaps appropriately so. Uh, Gary and Bill and others said, can you believe they didn't run the numbers on these things? What do you mean they haven't sent it out to all the players yet, et cetera, and so forth? Uh, so even though it was a good proposal, we got slapped around in the media. A few weeks later, uh, we did something a little different, and it was uh, actually right here in River City, or more appropriately right here at the primetime seminar. Uh, the negotiations at that point had fallen apart. There were three or four times during the lockout when it seemed like things had gone down in flames and we were nowhere. But instead, at this seminar, and Brian was on the panel, uh, I gave a little speech and I said, you know, I don't think we're that far apart. Uh, players are here, owners are there. If they go here and we go there, there could be a deal before too long and things are not nearly as bleak as they seem. Mm -hmm.